So it's no secret that the suit we got in The Amazing Spider-Man 1 was definitely one that deviated away from the traditional Spider-Man look. This Spider-Man had small and squinted eyes, a longer and lankier design, and came with just a menacing look and feel overall. This isn't your grandma's old Spider-Man. This one was weirder and much, much darker. And some people fucking hated it. And to those people I say, one, you have no taste, and two, it could have certainly been much worse. Every now and then I catch myself looking at TASM 1 and 2 concept art, and I wonder if the artists were ever busted by their bosses for drinking lean while working on the concept art for this movie. Let's talk about the suit and the thumbnail. So, hear me out. This suit is actually really cool. The suit itself is covered from head to toe in the signature spiderweb pattern, but you'll actually find that the spider logo of the suit is drawn like it's standing on the web pattern itself. This kind of implies that the spider on the chest of the suit made the webbing on the suit. Of course not literally, but figuratively. And I kind of like that about it. Apparently I'm in the minority on liking this suit in general. I think the only reason I'm able to enjoy this costume is that I'm not really thinking about it the same way that everyone else might be. While some might look at this and compare it to the original Spider-Man costume, me personally, I'm only looking at it for what it is. This is a Spider-Man costume, and from what it seems, it doesn't really feel like this costume is supposed to be the classic suit. It's a red and blue Spider-Man costume, but a different kind of red and blue Spider-Man costume. If you look ahead, You'll even see a web shooter concept for this design too. Very cool to see. I enjoy how the web carts sort of create a staircase into the web shooter itself. It's a very fluid design, and overall, an interesting take on Spider-Man's suit. I like it. Now play the clip of the house blowing- Ew, what is this thing? Evidently, it's a costume that looks quite like the final product for the movie, but this one is so much worse in comparison. Instead of the web being limited to the red section, the web pattern continues over the whole costume, and it isn't as tight-knit or clean as the one that made it into the final product. Moving over to the chest, the Raimi logo is here, and it's also been cut up, the same way the logo on the final suit is. If I had to guess, this was because I think Sony wanted to have certain elements in all versions of the suit that they wanted to make for this movie i.e. having segmented spider logos, golden eyes, and overall, a much darker and weirder feel. Oh god, the chest portion has... Why is the chest portion like this? Like, look, I've taken my stance on split-up costume segments on Spider-Man costumes. I do not care! I do not care! As long as it looks cool, and it makes sense, fucking do it! This is not how you do it. Like, why are there random cut up red blobs on the gloves? Why is the belt not completely covered? Why does this suit look like shit? That's why. That's why it looks like shit. Moving on, I have a set of three very different yet similar costumes. These three are an odd but interesting pair. In these, Spider-Man looks like he's wearing some sort of super thin exo suit type of armor. His eyes look more like Venom's or like someone smeared bird shit on his face. <laughs> the belt is outright removed in favor of a gray portion that's added to the suit, but in all honesty, I don't mind the gray. It's kinda cool. Not to mention the spider logo and the webbing being on point with the rest of the costume. Everything about this suit's look is kinda weird, maybe a little threatening. The messy webbing and the gnarly spider fit in this theme very well. It's not a suit I particularly enjoy because of the more drab colors, but at least it knows what it wants to be. The second one is nowhere near as mediocre as the one before, and in fact, I would even say it's much worse. Having the gunmetal gray texture on the previous costume complemented the use of the blue metal plating, but when you remove that gray area and replace it with a red that goes all the way down to the boots, it makes this costume look fucking ridiculous. This weird format just doesn't go with the rest of the outfit, and if you look closer, you'll see the spider incorporates a spray paint splatter effect. That's a cool feature and one you'll see expanded upon in the next design. Now this looks a lot more like Spider-Man. If you move up to his face, you'll see that his lenses are still and all black, but they wrap around to the back of his head. 
The spider logo is spray painted with an off-center position, which reminds me of the Ben Riley Beyond Spider-Man suit. And the web cape on the back is dope too. Web capes are actually a super rare feature in Spider-Man costumes, but it's really nice to see them whenever they do show up. Sad to see that across the Spider-Verse's design for Spider-Man 2099 didn't carry over the web cape from his old suit. But anyway, did you notice the concept art for this suit as a second spider? Yeah, check it out, he has a calf spider. I never thought I would see something like this on a Spidey suit, but I definitely have to remember what kind of concept art we're looking at today. But that's about it for those three. Now let's move on to the next. Hmm. So, this is very obviously supposed to be Miles Morales' Spider-Man suit, but for some reason this concept art comes from TASM 2. So it's either that they wanted to have Peter wear this costume, or they wanted to try to take a crack at how Miles Morales would look within the TASM universe. It's not a bad rendition of Miles Morales' costume. Keep in mind that in the context of the TASM universe, there may not be any high quality shots of Spider-Man's costume within range of someone who might attempt to design their own Spider-Man suit, unless they're a crazy ass like Max Dillon. So it makes sense that there are some elements about this costume that are different from Peter's in terms of execution. For example, usually the webbing on Spider-Man's costume follows a neat flow throughout his costume. The web starts from in between the eyes, trails down his head, and then out onto the rest of the costume. It looks like there's two different starting places for this web pattern, on the front and back of Spider-Man's head. I know that if I was making a Spider-Man suit and I didn't know what the back of his head looked like, I might have done something similar. Something that I've noticed about all this concept art is that they often use the Sam Raimi spider logo, or at least create a spider symbol that looks incredibly similar to it. Anyway, I really like the back of this suit. Despite it looking different from most Miles' designs, I actually enjoy the reuse of the arch from the front of the suit, but this time with a much bigger logo in the back. Overall, I think this costume looks a tiny bit odd, but other than that, it's not a bad take on Miles Morales' costume. I certainly hope if Miles came into the TASM universe, he wouldn't look exactly like this. But if he did, it wouldn't be the end of the world. What the fuck is this thing? What? Why did we go and do this shit? What the fuck did I just say earlier about putting random lines and segments in the costumes? He looks like he's wearing fucking thigh highs with holes in them. There's some potential to adding holes onto the red portion of the design, but then they turn around and make the costume much worse by adding these stupid slabs onto the abs of the costume? Like, this costume looks so much better without them. Why do we need to add these? Potential? No potential. These slab things suck ass. So for those of you who hate this costume and think that it's garbage compared to the other Spider-Man suits we've gotten, just remember, at least the TASM-1 suit is almost entirely faithful to the original design format of Spider-Man. Only with some segmentation and added lines, this costume has most of the Spider-Man's iconic features. Red mask, gloves and boots, and spiders on the front and back in the correct places. This was an odd looking Spider-Man costume for sure, but just know that everything is put in the same place as it was before. And know that this will always be better than this.